guys, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I'm going to welcome you back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. Alrighty, guys, welcome back. Last time, we arrived in Kanto after becoming the new Johto champ, and we took down the Vermilion Gym leader, Surge, and got our first Kanto badge. Now, although we are doing the Kanto... Oh! Okay, never mind. Sorry, viewers. <laughs> I, I was about to say, although uh, we are doing the console gems and stuff like that, the badges won't appear. But no, no, no. I was wrong, apparently. But yeah, in the second gen, we didn't have a console gym badge case. Now, I guess we got one. So, well, there you go. And guys, we got our thunder badge last time. So, yeah. One down, seven more to go. Luckily, getting the badges in Kanto is immensely more easier and quicker than it was back in Johto. You will find out over the next course of, well, the game. So, there you go. In any case, this is the Pokemon Fan Club. How's it going? I'm the chairman of the Pokemon Fan Club. I raised over 150 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. Did you visit just to hear about my Pokemon? Uh, not really, but... Uh, oh, well. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the Fan Club chairman is a bit of a braggart. If you recall from the first gen, he gave you the bike voucher. This gen's price is not as great, but it's still good. But yeah, I'm just going to go fast through this because he just goes and just, Oh, my rapid is just so beautiful, blah, blah, blah. But whatever. In any case, for listening to that long-winded speech, we get a rare candy. Yay. Pretty much. <laughs> but yeah, no bike voucher. What the hell? Why is that statue shaking? Hey, dude. I love the way Clefairy opens up its arms. It's so adorable. Yeah, but why is that statue shaking? Unl unless I'm imagining it. Huh, whatever. In any case, keep that statue in mind for later. There might be more to that. Yeah, I, ju I just now noticed it was shaking. Huh. They are still not done this building? Wow. In any case, Cameron? Wow, even Cameron's in Kanto. Well, we might as well take a picture. Yeah, our first picture in Kanto with the team. Squad! Jeez! Nice. I have the best Pokemon squad. And, yeah, I'm sure I will probably get better squads. Um, you know, when I do, as I do more Pokemon LPs in the future. But, well, my Soul Silver squad is by far one of the best Pokemon teams I have made thus far on the channel. But yeah, um, this is the fishing guru guy from from Lake of Rage. So yeah, as I mentioned earlier, if you show him the um, if you show the fishing guru at the Lake of Rage a bigger than average Magikarp, he'll give you some prizes. But they're not great, so I don't I don't who cares. <laughs> but in any case, here on Route Six, we got uh Pidgey, Bell Sprouts, Abra, Magnemite, um, Oddish, and let's see here. Yeah, Oddish and Gloom is exclusive only to Heart Gold. Uh, Meowth exclusive to Soul Silver. But yeah, the, the, the Pokemon here on this route are not that great, but they're there. In any case, we get Silver Wind. Nice. Why they wait till Kanto to give us this? I have no idea. But in any case, Silver Wind is actually pretty good. Um, Silver Wind is a special based um, bug type move, 60 power, and I think my bugs can learn them. Uh, well, yeah, Scyther can, but it's special base. Hmm. Scyther is more a Malay bug, just like Heracross. Now, viewers, I'm not sure if some of you, well, you should, um, if you like my channel updates and stuff, I usually post them on Twitter. But yeah, um, on Twitter yesterday, I was posting, um, I was posting some, um, profiles of my Pokemon, like, um, like, I gave my Pokemon, like, backstories and stuff like that. It was actually pretty cool. But, yeah, that, um, that, um, path right there is blocked until the power plant issue is solved. Yeah, still in Gen 4, um, Kanto has a power plant issue. Yeah, that hasn't changed. Hey, dude, how's it going? Welcome to Saffron City, home of the Magnet Train. That's what I'd normally say, but the Magnet Train isn't running now. It's not getting any electricity because there's something wrong with the power plant. Nuts. Guess people are taking the bus! <laughs> no, no, no. But in any case, Saffron City. Alright. Luckily, this gen Saffron City is not taken over by Team Rocket. So, isn't that cool? Yes. Well, then again, we kicked Team Rocket's ass in Johto, so they're not coming back. 
I mean, seriously, we got Team Rocket in the first gen, they, they were all full strong, had their Mafia boss, Giovanni, but then we kicked his ass, second gen slash fourth gen G, um, Team Rocket, or Neo Team Rocket, without Giovanni, failed. Even the admins, failed. Like, seriously, without Giovanni, they are terrible. <laughs> you came from Johto? You can zip back home by hopping on the Magnet Train. Yeah, normally, but without the power plant being fixed, there's no way we can, well, hop back there. Oh, viewers, I forgot to mention this. But, um, you can fly back to, um, well, you get TM29 Psychic from Mr. Psychic here. Yay! But yeah, you can fly back to, um, uh, what the fuck is the name of the place? Oh, yeah, you can fly back to Indigo Plateau, because, well, obviously, it's a part of Kanto. Doi. So yeah, fly back to Indigo Plateau, and from there, you can fly back to Johto. So yeah, you don't have to rely on the Magnet Train um, this time around. You can just easily fly back. So, there you go. But in any case, yeah, we got the Psychic TM. I could teach this to, um, to my Haunter. Although, I don't want to give up the moves sets I have, because they are really good for type coverage. So, I don't want to give them up. Plus, we need Hypnosis for Legendary, so, yeah. So, in any case, I, I think I'll give Psychic to um, my Magmar, because, well, like I said, it can cover some bases that Magmar otherwise wouldn't normally be able to cover. Uh, let's see here. Now, I'm thinking I should give up Iron Tail, because I have not really been using it since I taught it to him, like, back, like back in mid Johto. I mean, obviously, at this point, I'm not really worried about, um, rock, rock or ground type moves against my Magmar. And, oh yeah, speaking of which, I got some levels for them, by the way. Victory Road is probably the best place to do some level grinding for now. Well, it is the best place to do level grinding. So, I recommend taking advantage of Victory Road while you can. So, there you go. But yeah, I'm teaching Psychic to Magmar because it, it makes better sense. And plus, my Haunter's moveset is good as it is. So, there you go. But yeah, Psychic, 90 power, Psychic type moves, special base. And considering my Magmar's special attack is pretty decent. I mean, it's not as great as my um, Haunter's. But it's still good enough. So, yeah, plus he can take on um, fighting types as well as other Pokemon that are weak to Psychic moves. Like Ghost types, for example. So, there you go. Hey, dude. There's a place called Trainer House in Viridian, where trainers gather from all over the place. Yeah, I'm familiar with the Trainer House. It sucks ass. Yeah, in the second gen, um, the Trainer House would allow... Ooh. Wow, they really did good by Silvcourt. Look at it! It looks all swanky and shit. But yeah, um, Trainer House in the second gen, I'm assuming in fourth gen too, and stuff like that. Um, it only allow you to, like, battle, like, a specific trainer that was basically a clone of you with, like, um, all three of the Johto starters in their final forms. Yeah, it, 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 it was boring. And I'm assuming it's boring in this gen, too. But, yeah, that upgrade there, um, I think if you equip that to, um, Porygon, it can evolve into Porygon, too. I think via trading, I think. But, well, I don't use Porygon, and I never will. So, but it's there for your Porygon, if you so desire, my dear viewers. In any case, yeah, remember this house? This is actually the copycat's house. The copycat girl from the gen, from gen 1? Yeah, yeah, that, that chick. How's, what? Hi, do you like Pokemon? Huh, no, I just asked you. Huh, you're strange. Huh, quit mimicking? But that's my main hobby. Uh, okay. In any case, oh, she has a Clefairy doll already? Huh, that's weird. Back in the second gen, um, yeah, she, I don't think she had a Clefairy doll. Um, uh, well, in the house when you first meet her before you get the side quest. There was a side quest in the second gen that you had to find the girl's, um, Clefairy doll in, Verm in Vermilion. And she would give you a magnet pass. But, I wonder if it's still the same in this gen or if it's changed. I don't know! Because this is my first time really going through all of Heart Gold and Soul Silver in, like, years. So, there you go. I went to the gym raring for battles against trainers. Only to find out that I stumbled into the un unused gym next door. Boy, was I pretty embarrassed. Yeah, as you should be. Because this is the fighting dojo. As, I mean, they both look like gyms, but we can tell a gym from a dojo. How that kid wasn't able to 
I, I don't know. In any case, hey dude, Karate King, the fighting dojo's master, is in a cave in Johto for further training. Oh yeah, I remember that dude. Yeah, viewers, I forgot to mention this, but um, in Mount Motar, uh, Karate King Kyo is in that place. And just like I showed you in that side quest when I did Pokemon Crystal walkthrough, or um, yeah, my Pokemon Crystal walkthrough, you can get a um, a Tyrogue, which is the baby form of either Hitmonchan, Hitmontop, or Hitmonlee, depending on its stats when it gets to level 20. It'll it'll evolve into one of those three. But yeah. You need like five Pokemon in your party, otherwise you won't be able to get it, or five or less. Uh, Mount Motar is pretty much the same as it was back in, in the second gen. I'm not that interested in Tyro, hence why I didn't bother going into Mount Motar when we were in Johto. So, yeah, I probably won't bother with it now anyway. But, well, it's there if you want it, you know, so it, Mount Motar is not, shouldn't pose much of a threat to you at this point. In any case, whee! But yeah, just like in the second, or the first and second gen, we got the Saffron gem here with this annoying fucking warp panel top, um, puzzles. That being said, though, so you take the only entrance to defeat the channel, take the southeastern teleporter. Thank goodness I have my notes! <laughs> Alright, north, south, east. This one? Again? Huh. Wait, okay, so this takes me back there. It said southeastern. Or... Wait a minute. Well, this is Southwest. Viewers, you know I am very, very bad at directions. <laughs> All right, I, I, I think I got it now. Top left one. And we're gonna take the bottom left. And that should take us to here. Take the bottom left teleporter. And lastly, ha ha, yes. Yeah, I kinda, I almost fucked up. <laughs> With the directions on this, but yeah, we get to Sabrina very easily. Although I got, I gotta say, Sabrina's gym looks amazingly, amazingly well done, especially considering how terrible it looked in the first and second gen. But yeah, good on you, Sabrina. Speaking of which, as we all know, with Sabrina, she is the psychic chick of the game. So as such, um, psychic types are weak to bug and well, dark and ghost type moves. Take advantage. <laughs> In any case, hey Sabrina, how's it going, girl? I knew you were coming. Uh, okay. Three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival. You're after my badge. <laughs> Viewers, I almost, I almost misinterpreted that as something different. I need to put on my glasses. <laughs> wow. I don't enjoy battling, but if it's, but it's my duty to conf as a yeah, fail. Gym leader, to confer badges on anyone who has proven his or herself worthy. Are you worthy? Well, I shall see. Since you wish it, I will show you my psychic powers. Be dazzled! So it's time for a gym battle boss fight versus gym leader Sabrina. Now, the resident psychic chick of the uh, well, first, second, and fourth gen. Yes, Sabrina, level 53 Espeon. Her team has stepped up since well, the second gen games, but they're still weak to dark and bug type moves. Says a cross. Yes. Scissor is across, it's X Scissor and Pokenese. But you knew that already, viewers. If you've been watching me long enough, you should know your Pokenese. You should know it by now, viewers. I'm gonna be grading you at the end of this LP. No, 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah. Alright, next up, Mr. Mime. Yeah, pretty much all three of our Pokemon are pure psychic, so at this point, you should already know how to deal with them. Night the Slushin! Yeah, her team is not even a threat to me. But I wanted to get some levels because the gym leaders, or well, the gym leaders in Kanto, their levels, just like in the first gen, will start spiking. So yeah, you, you saw how easy the um, Kanto or the Johto gym leaders were, despite their levels being slightly up from the second gen. Their levels were trash compared to the Kanto gym leaders. The Kanto gym leaders have stepped up their game. So as such, you need to step up your game by getting more better levels. Hence, I did that um, level grinding in Victory Road last night. So, there you go. What will happen after this? I already know. Wait, so... Do you know you're going to lose or are you going to win? Well, I have a prediction for you, Sabrina. You're going to lose, girl! Night to slash you! Give me that one shot, baby! One shot, money shot! Woohoo! One hit KO! Her ace stood no chance! 
Good job, Jamie. Cypher for the win. Sabrina, that's good game. I get it. Huh. Can you dig it? <laughs> Your power. It far exceeds what I foresaw. Maybe it's impossible to fully predict what the future holds. Okay, you win. You earned yourself the Marsh Badge. Yay! Thank you, Sabrina. Alright, we get the Marsh Badge. Badge number two and Kanto get. <sighs> I failed to accurately predict your power. That means your power is beyond my psychic ability. You deserve this. Please take this TN, too. Awesome! Thank you! But yeah, in the second gen, the console gym leaders didn't give you any TMs. Well, except for Erica. Because there was a new grass type move, <coughs> Giga Drain, <coughs> that she would give you. But yeah, they give you TMs in this gen. That is so nice. Nice touch. It contains Skill Swamp. It swamps abilities between the user and the target. You will become a celebrated and beloved champion. Thank you, Sabrina. You rock, girl. That being said, though, take the red teleporter out of here, and we are done. That was another fantastic battle. Thanks. <laughs> well, viewers, we got our second console badge. Good job, Jeremy. What's up? Oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> he did take some damage in that in that fight. There you go, dude. Oh, he didn't take that much damage. Huh. You weren't... You weren't fragile, Jeremy. You can take it. There you go. Yeah, there's that confidence. All right, next up is... Let me see here. Uh, Route 5. All right, perfect. All right, let's go and um, put Siege back in the lead since he is the boss. So there you go. You the boss, man. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I think back in the second gen, you could get a focus band from the dojo, but for some reason, they aren't offering it anymore. No, mom, I'm not answering the phone. So there you go. In any case, let's continue on to Cerulean City. It's pretty much to the north of um uh, Saffron. You're from Johto, aren't you? How do you like Kanto? It's pretty decent. I love it. How many cities have you visited? Have you been to Cerulean City already? The view from Cerulean Cape is really something, isn't it? It's a good place for dates. Do you have anyone in mind? Why are you talking so much? Sorry, am I prying too much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit much, dude. I, I mean, I, I do appreciate the convo, but he's kind of going a bit off the deep end. <laughs> hey, dude. The road is closed. To oh, yeah, yeah. Pretty much the same thing from the south, too. Oh, well. But, yeah, we got another rock climb up a wall over here. Unfortunately, we will not be getting the rock climb HM until, like, <clears throat> like pretty much when we're done the console part of the game. Why? They felt the need to wait until uh, the end of our console adventure to give us the HM. I have no idea. I will rant more about it later. How's it going, old lady? I uh, wh What? I sense a sinister shadow hovering over you, child. Take this to ward it off. Okay. <laughs> you were in mortal danger, but you're protected now. Uh, thanks, I I guess. Fuck's up with her. My grandma is, is, is into warding off what she believes to be evil spirits. I'm sorry that she startled you. Yeah, sh she's a bit much. She's kind of like the guard. <laughs> Are they related? No. In any case, the clan tag is actually pretty good. It keeps wild Pokemon away if the holder is the first in the party. So always give it to your lead. It'll basically, it's basically an infinite repel. So the, as long as the Pokemon holding it is in the lead pretty much all the time. So, you know, there you go. But I don't need it. But in any case, we ride the Cerulean City. Awesome. But unfortunately, it is not um blue anymore. Oh, well. Well, except the Pokemon, that's always blue. But in any case, viewers, we have arrived in Cerulean City, but what awaits us in the beautiful city of water flowers? Find out next time. If you guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming vids from me. Hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. Till next time, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day. Smell you later.